I don't want to stop until I just get like un like it gets unfun or if people start like trying to charge me and shit I ain't fucking paying to talk to nobody like mm-hmm. I think it, I don't know, anyone, well, I mean, I guess if you're kind of... Uh, I, I was just saying, I would pay to talk to some people. Like, I really would love to talk to Kanye West. Oh my god. Talk about, okay, jeez. Dude, that'd be fucking dope. Please, you know how much he would cost? Dude. Well, yes, that's what I'm saying. But, you, dude, you know how I much, if I could pay like him to just thing. sit there and listen to me, tell him about how I used to walk from junior high to the library mm-hmm. to get on Yahoo Music to bump mm-hmm. some Kanye West <laughs> like just so he could hear me say Dude, that I was always at the library and how many times I had to defend him when I, people were like <laughs> who's your favorite rapper and I would say Kanye West and they'd be like no Eminem's a better rapper and I was like no I'd have to always go back you said my favorite fucking rapper mm-hmm. like if you tell me my favorite kind of rap music it's gonna be some soulful ass fucking hip hop or something okay so is Kanye still your favorite rapper I don't listen to music, so yeah. Well, I mean, I really don't jam too much music. Okay. I don't I'm know. Not... He probably wouldn't. It would just depend on what I'm like. Dude, I oddly, like, now I start listening to music, I never thought I would just jam. Like, I uh, got in the mood to listen to Maroon fucking 5. Hmm. Never nice. in my life has that, that ever sucks. happened. Yeah. Well, it's just cool. It's like a good little vibe music while I'm, like, over here, like, cooking breakfast at my job. Like, and I'm just, yeah. like, all these, like, happy little poppy songs mm-hmm. like i was thinking dude never in my life would mm-hmm. i turn this on in front of anybody like yeah. now i will because yeah. i don't care we can all i go with whatever makes me yeah with the vibe like i because i actually have been i stopped listening to music for a while because i was so hardcore into podcasts like i still am but like like yesterday working so much like the i really i forgot how much it can kind of motivate you to like do more you know what i mean like get up and do stuff like because I was starting to play like, um, uh, like on Pandora, I have like a like a seether and like um, kind of like rock stuff, but it was like really slow and like the deep. Voice. What kind of rock so is like, that? Like um, would it be like two thousands uh, or? Yeah. Heavy metal, not heavy metal. It's not heavy metal, is it? Not really. I mean, it does have some heavy metal, but it was more like just like a soothing kind of it wasn't like screamer metal and it wasn't like nickelback but it was like in between kind of a rock it was like a soothing but i was like dude this makes me want to sit and like think about life like you know what i mean it's like kind of like that stuff like the deep voices but like i don't know so i was just like no i'm not feeling this so i you know i just stopped kind of caring what people think about my music and whatever makes you feel good because i started listening to a little bit of bb king and stuff like on pandora and that was good but what really got me going and I was like because I like dancing too I forget how much I like to dance I used to dance all the time and so yeah things that make me dance now is like the absolute like the trap music like the okay yeah is that shit so I put that on for a good ass while I mean Megan Thee Stallion is probably my favorite to dance too just because she's got the most wildest shit and I couldn't name one song that off the top of my head maybe if somebody showed me i'd be like oh yeah. yeah i heard that oh yeah i'm sure if someone showed that's how long you, but... i've looked up music yeah but then and then i got on to like some uh uh like led zeppelin stuff and just that's drastic kinda... sounding yeah so i went <laughs> i went crazy up and down and yeah like on the way here i was listening to a lot of country and then i just switched it up to um like elvis and um um fuck sam something i can't remember his name but frank's not sure um but I was leading that into something. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, oh. I remember. Kanye. Fuck Kanye. I hate Kanye. That's what you were leading up to? No, I wasn't. But I, oh. I meant to say that <laughs> back then, and I just got off very blank. I was leading up to something, but it just I forgot. But oh, um, yeah, Kanye's kind of a piece of shit person now. I don't know if you know that or not. Oh. But his music is okay i guess but i didn't know if you had heard uh that kendrick lamar had made a new album yeah i heard it yesterday yeah i didn't hear it i heard it from somebody i'll probably never that's what i told him i was like man i hate to say that but i'm never gonna watch the video and i'll probably never listen to it yeah i rarely watch the video even though they are pretty good i would love to hear him talk about it oh my god yeah see that's something i always do i'm words like i want to hear people talk about the thing I think you'd like, even though you're not really listening to like rap and stuff, but it is a very like 
it's like an art album or something basically that's what I heard. yeah that's what it's I heard. like i haven't heard the whole album i've just heard um a few heard songs thumbs up like good it's yeah it's fucking deep I guess it's more or less like yeah you would want to be like really listening and because he talks about some heavy shit apparently like yeah yeah he's always good oh man he's amazing that's why it's weird that I will really will not listen to it like <laughs> it's not that I won't listen to it out of like me choosing it's just that when I get on YouTube the next time I'm gonna search up like probably a pro wrestling podcast or yeah. scary stories or whatever I watch you know mm. instead of music yeah chances are and if I go to music it's going to be something neutral like what well, you were saying the Elton John or, yeah oh yeah oh, I, yeah. I think of those as neutral I can't see anybody that's just like oh I hate Michael Jackson yeah or, or I hate you know, Elton John you yeah, know, it's like, yeah. That shit, yeah if they do yeah. I'm just thinking like yeah you're lying yeah it's, I always put it on old music I don't care <laughs> I think that's pretty neutral old music like Frank and stuff well, for sure. I mean, I don't think it's like going to be everybody's favorite, but I think it's pretty neutral music. Like, nobody's going to be like, I can, BB King sucks. I don't think anybody's technically going to say that, if they're being honest. Yeah. I mean, he plays the guitar and he can rhythm and blues it up. Yeah. I know some people that hate that guitar solos and shit. Like, they hate those. Like, I was actually listening to BB King yesterday, and Jimi Hendrix, the Like a Steve Rolling Ray Stone Vaughan. song. The what? Like a Rolling Stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that song. Mm-hmm. I love that song. Oh, that's a lot of... Louis Armstrong. Yeah, that's what I listened to a lot, too. Yesterday, I fucking love I've him. I've never, ever listened to a song. Yes, you I have. know who he is. He's a trumpet dude, but... he's He's got that really soulful, deep voice, like... Um, Maybe, again, I'd have to get it pointed oh, out. Man. Oh, It sucks the, I don't know the that The second stuff. you would hear his voice, you'd be like, oh, yeah, because it's so distinctive. There's nobody else that has a voice like that. I'm yeah. trying to think off the top of my head now. Uh, it's like a... Is it that one? No. Uh, uh, no. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to think. Who is so He sings kind of slow. And that's the only song I may know. Yeah. Edda James, that's always a good one, dude. Oh. What is it? Forever. Edda James, like Beyonce, I think played her in a movie or something. She's the one that's like, I'd rather go blind than blind to see you with her and she dresses like Etta James in a movie Beyonce does she has she's a black woman with blonde hair kind of uh-huh. I think stormy weather I'll have to maybe check it out I remember that I had that Beyonce phase too speaking of music oh whoa yes, yeah dude, for some dude. reason I was thinking oh man God, nobody yes. could fuck with Beyonce fuck no and they dude. couldn't no <laughs> they man couldn't. no yeah they were there uh, did you see that they were there at that Dave Chappelle fight there or the, where he went up on stage uh-uh. Jay-Z and Beyonce were in the crowd <laughs> yeah I saw that well cause it happened in Brooklyn huh yeah that famous yeah. whatever thing the, the dome or whatever it is but yeah I just thought that was funny cause I haven't seen them in so long and it what, and it, it was interesting because it's weird seeing these just these random little clips that mean nothing to anyone else and it's like when I saw that my brain went on a whole like tangent just just immediately about like it's so cool that these fucking people are billionaires and like I know that she was pregnant with twins or something I haven't seen the kid I know she had a baby it was called Blue I just remember that was a crazy name and I was like I never see them on social media I never see them on the news I never see them on and they're kids you know what I mean like usually people they either hide their kids away completely or they show them off like right there right up front and I just thought it's so cool there I mean everyone knows them everyone recognizes them and then I yet I never see a blip of them anywhere ever and I don't even think I would have known about that had they not got slapped had Dave Chappelle not got slapped and that be they'd be like escorted out and shit and whatever but I just thought it was so cool to be so so low-key and so humble and so under the radar I mean maybe they're not humble over life but it sure does seem like it in person because they go out of their way cool yeah they're both heck. content they're super it seems like they're super content i mean who knows what's going on behind closed yeah doors, real but, life yeah but they seem like yeah they're just like they're just living the respected life i guess you know where people just come in their room and they they bow to them dude jay-z is so freaking cool I, like his mannerisms like i just mm-hmm. i wish i was that cool first off but i couldn't because i would and make Beyonce, it awkward yeah i'd make it both so awkward them. but i remember somebody was like Hey, you got a nice pink suit, and he like I felt like he like ignored him. I, I don't know all the video. He ignored him for a minute, and he was like, "It's mauve or something <laughs> like that." And I was thinking, dude, 
I don't know what that is. I want to mob everything. Yeah, I think I think I know what that is. Yeah, that's so fucking cool, dude. Yeah, dude, he's so cool. That's awesome. And yeah, I mean, if you saw them in real life and you saw them like just walk, they wouldn't walk like regular. Like they walk like king queen shit. Like they just have a different like aura about them or whatever. Like I wonder if that's an act. Like to 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 create like for people like us to be like they have a different thing about them. I wonder. Or they just literally like walk like that. Like, I think they just we hop up out of the bed like this. <laughs> That's crazy. I think they just have a different yeah. When you live that kind of like rich life for that long, I mean, you just everything's different than what we would ever be used to. I think I think it, that would be a really cool experiment. And if anyone would be like. I don't know anyone that would be cool with that, but someone that's really, really rich. I mean, like Beyonce and Jay-Z rich to take on like a normal person or to come to a normal person's house and live their life or for a normal person to go to their house because I think everything would be different. I think how they shower would be different, how they wipe their ass would be different, how they talk would be different, how they walk would be different. wipe their ass different? Well, yeah. Well, besides the the bidet and yeah, stuff, yeah. yeah. I Definitely. I 100% think that. And Well, I mean, I think, I literally think more than we think is gonna they just live on such a different fucking level and platform than us that they they just have no idea and i've i've been thinking of that more and more the more like hard labor i do outside like i just keep thinking like people just they kind of don't realize how much work goes into stuff because i was one of those people that just was like no oh, you put that there yo you built that are you you did that that's nice like now that i'm actually doing all those things like people that don't have to do it or never even have to think about it or even you know you get handed this beautiful work of art or whatever and you're like you know stuff like that it's just like they are on such a different mindset than us that it just would be really interesting to talk with them and also yeah maybe even just see how they live their life and then see how we live our life and you know, I don't know. I, I think that they'd have a lot of clean, you know, just weird clean phobias, maybe. Like, you know, uh, not just, like, not wearing shoes in their house and stuff. But I think just because they live in such crazy things. Like, maybe maybe their floors are made to where, you know, you can't be barefoot. Or, I, yeah, I don't know. There's just probably some crazy they technology. They definitely got those kind of rules. I mean, you know, it's. I just would find it very interesting because, again, it's like, Coming from where I'm at right now and trying to start from the bottom, like growing my own food and my own animals and, you know, eating my own animals, basically. And later on, and just basically living for myself to go from that and try to learn that to someone that can always get whatever they want when they want, like never have to think about who grew it, what grew it, anything, like everything they do. It would just be really interesting, I think to kind of see where their mindsets are at and compared to mine and or people like me or whatever and um I think that's also it's just made me think of like politicians and stuff that like because I've been seeing it more and more do they're shoving it down my throat on, on fucking and I barely watch tv I only watch the news but these political political ads or whatever where they're like I'm just like you. I'm a working man. I was a farmer. I did this, or you know, my mama was a teacher for 30 years, and she taught me this, and <laughs> or whatever. It's just like it's they're they're trying to be so homegrown that it's coming off phony to me. Like oh, for sure. Yeah, if they're trying to be like even even people just in the state, but also just running, uh, you know, for the United States. But like those people, I mean. They're millionaires. They are close to it, or even some billionaire Congress people, or whatever. It's just like you live on such a different platform than us. They that, don't have the same like phony videos too. Like they're shaking a teacher's yeah. hand, or they're out there talking to a farmer on a cross. Dude, like, dude, you just fucking nailed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah literally nailed it. Yeah, about. and they're you know they're kind of get, bringing in guns more in their commercials and stuff. Like uh, you know, and it's always like well, I was in whatever it just the popular topic yeah because i keep thinking like you live in a different world than us and i know you're just getting told this from people that know they're like normal people and they're like this is what you should do and this is how you should act but like you can't relate to us in any fucking way and it just when you try and do it on tv it, it but just knowing that in the back of my mind that realization of like you're rich and you don't have to think about these things and you try to make it seem like you're so part of the people and part of the community and it's like 
I'm sorry, but money does change things. Like growing, especially growing up with money. I understand coming from somewhat nothing, quote unquote, to getting rich. At least you have some idea of what it's like to struggle. At least you have some idea of what it's like to like not be able to get what you want when you want. But when you grew up rich, when you're when you start off born rich, you cannot grasp the same type of context, the same type of lifestyle that we do. Like unless you did absolutely went out and did it on your own and just You talking about rich or spoiled? Rich. You so you don't think there's some rich people that have to do some hard shit. Because hmm. I can understand spoiled because I know that some like average, I don't know if they're average income, I don't know their fucking income, but they have like middle, what you'd call middle income looking houses. Yeah. And their kids are what the fuck, they're like spoiled. They still get, Ooh. I wouldn't say they're rich, they're probably in debt. I don't know. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, that's a different conversation. Yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah, that's. Because they have no grasp of reality. I think when you come from really like a lot of money i think spoiled just comes with i think it just comes with the territory i don't know any i mean i don't know yeah i don't know anyone that just like is really really rich like millionaire rich and doesn't just give what they want you know whether or not it's well you need to clean you know you need to brush your teeth or or i'm not gonna buy you that pony and it's like a real fucking pony you know what i mean like you know <laughs> it's like it's, a... you know their level of like parenting and like you know or you know if you go to a, a middle income household it's like you better brush your teeth or you're not gonna uh, get the barbie doll i promise you on your you know it's like it's just different levels dude like they may parent and make you know but they're they're you you start with what you know how much money you have you know that's just always in the back of your mind and it's like they could be like, well, I'm not going to buy your five friends those Xboxes, like I said, if you don't fucking pick I up I want that shit. person as a friend. Yeah, I but it's make like... make sure they're good so I get their I'm just Xbox. saying, like, it, it's... I think with really rich, spoiler just comes with the territory. Whether you parent the way, that way or not, it's True. like... Either way, you're spending that. an exorbitant amount of money that other people would never even be able to even think about spending. And But middle class people, you can definitely be spoiled and get everything you want, but you're getting everything you want, like middle class everything you you know they're not buying just Lamborghinis for yeah. their kid and you know it's it's at a different level it's just but yeah they definitely can be spoiled in that regard too and, and I've known some really poor people like really 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 poor and just kind of like the definition of like trailer trash hillbilly like when you think of like when other people think of southern people I guess it's like missing teeth Hats, weird beards, What is their full pimples. name? <laughs> so we could throw tomatoes at them. Bro. <laughs> no, too, too damn. Yeah. Too, 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 uh, but, and they spoil their kids. And it's like, you know, you could be spoiled and be hella, hella, hella poor. And that, that kid curl up so yeah, entitled. Yeah, because it all depends. Yeah, yeah. They, and, you know, and you're just like, you know, not saying that having I money. I grew up in that household. Yeah, and not saying uh, having money, you well, know, grew up makes you that. makes you able to be entitled and, you know, whatever, but it's just like yeah, I think it just it's all just different levels of being spoiled and um that's for sure. mindsets. Yeah, because if you know, going back to the Beyoncé thing is like if you think about how their kids grow up, I see them as being somewhat humbling or whatever, you know, like not just giving their kids or letting their kids do whatever they want or be terrible people or whatever, grow up to be terrible people. I see them raising them to be good people, but also they will have no idea what it's like to like do real hard labor and stuff. Like they will have no, con like they'd be like, Oh, they built me a house. Like, great. Well, you have no idea what it took the to process build that fucking of building house. Like, yeah. Like, well, fuck that can go to, I mean, the contractors and the money that, you know, that what that meant to that person and this person. And, you know, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know why I think about all that stuff right now. Dude, that could go to your, so like... Deep. That could go so fucking anything. Like, the banking call that you call to complain, and you don't know how, like... You know, that's some fucking entitled shit, too, that you think you can unleash on this poor lady yeah. that's just there to help you. Yeah. You know, like, you think that you're like, no, dude, you represent that company, mm -hmm. so I get to go full A1 mm -hmm. steak sauce on your ass. Mm -hmm. You know, like... No, I thought that, too, because... That's it's, a whole different kind of entitlement that you give that. yourself. That yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point because my mom said, my mom has told me that. She's like, look, Kristen, it sucks. I forgot what I was trying to get an answer to something and somebody wasn't calling me back. I don't know. And she's like, you know, it sucks, Kristen, but 
you have to be mean. That's what she said. It's like, you have to be mean. You have to, you have to make a fuss. You have to raise your, not raise your voice, but you have to, you have to make a fuss in order to be heard. You have to ask for the manager. You have to tell them that they're not doing their fucking jobs. Like you have to tell them that because being nice and trying to get what you want won't get you what you want. It's She's talking it, about as a customer. As a customer. Yes, yes, yes. That's what she means. Yeah, nothing else. Just, yeah. just that. But because it was something like on the phone, like how I was just being polite to everyone. And they're like, oh, yeah, we'll get back to you. And then it was like you call again. It's like another person. They're like, oh, we'll get back to you. And. You know, you're just getting the runaround from these people, and it's like you have to like, you know. And I just thought that shouldn't be how society should be, but it is because I remember working for people on the phone, and they're like, only if they ask for the manager twice are you able to do it. Like it has to be is that a certain. For real? Oh, a certain. Oh, that's absolutely that's for real. Weird. It has to be twice before you can transfer the one. It can't be the first time because you have to try and talk them out of it, or you know, in some type of manager role, if they make a big enough fuss, then you are actually able to get them discounts that otherwise they would not get had they not made this big of a fuss. There's like levels to the fussiness, levels to the fussiness that like, you know, you can get more free shit or more of what you want if you can reach that type of level and people know how to work that system. And that's fucked up because it's people like me that don't want to be mean to this fucking average Joe and ruin their day and, you know, whatever. It's like, I want to be nice and get what I want. Like, that should be okay. I shouldn't have to be a bitch to get shit or to, to not to get shit, but just to, like, be treated fairly. That's not fair. I have to be a sense. bitch. Like Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm glad you have that because I hated that. And I, I feel like that's so true with stuff nowadays, though. You have to be, like, overly fussy about stuff to even, like, get heard. And it's, like, little people like me in the back, like, I'm going to be heard, too. I think that's also because, like, businesses, like, I worked for Walmart, and they literally tell you X amount of information. And people go to you, like, you know all the fucking... Dude, they asked me something about how it was made, and I was thinking, like... <laughs> like I don't even pull that off the truck, nor do I stock it on the shelf. Mm-hmm. I just grab that shit and put it in his cart and go give it to somebody else. Like that's literally my job is that. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I'm a dummy, but I could go to eight different people mm-hmm. and they can only get me so far because that's all the information they know. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of how it is on everything. They give you so many, and that guy at the top doesn't even want to deal with any of it. So you have to go through eight chains of command, exactly. and they to make you go through the person. chains of command. Yeah. To that that can actually help this person that like, can actually like get this person what they want you have to go through this tier list and get every one of them has to get bitched out before the person yeah. that actually deserves it gets bitched out mm-hmm. like that's not fucking fair it's like the lady on the phone shit. wants you to give me a new desk tag called cock sucking bitch that's, yeah. your, that's my new title apparently yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck? yeah and yeah you just get yeah when you're on the other when you're receiving that hate and it's not your fault at all it's it's what really gets to you, especially if you get that day in and day out. And I feel so, I feel so hard for people in customer service now. It was hard then, and I can't imagine what it's fucking like now. And people expect so fucking much. Yeah, and also they just forget that what they're we're all human. Like everyone makes mistakes, and or yeah, and like in like your case, like just know that this. At, you know, random person, Walmart worker that you stopped isn't going to know the fucking calibrations of this <laughs> machine that, you know, this radio. Or if what, it's good on your skin. Yeah, like, or your what oil your truck takes or what Barbie you are is popular now or whatever. It's like... Or why we don't bro. have it. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. That's a China-USA thing, not yeah, me. Like, exactly. <laughs> like, it's little things like that. Like, I can't even imagine, like, what, you know, what your girlfriend must get, like, with the with the food. Or, I don't know if they're food shortage or why is this like this and it's like bro, I'm, I'm literally taking this food from one place to another place like that's it like why are you yeah. asking me all these fucking questions about how is it made how was the how was the cow raised like what did you what you know well, why the prices you, are going to go up and yeah. why are they still are, are they still going to go up it's like dude it's like dude i carry your food from one place to another please leave me alone like are you yeah. fucking kidding me right now like, yeah or, i'm technically yeah. here to make sure it doesn't sink i don't do anything else in that yeah and I mean, yeah, I at this place that I work at currently, place my place of employment, like I make breakfast and they, I I have at one point like had like biscuits, gravy, eggs, potatoes and sausage and bacon. That's a lot of shit for like a hotel. Yeah. And then like cereal and all this other shit. I got a complaint that said I didn't have enough variety, and I was thinking, 
<laughs> like it's free. It's free. They put like little like hostess cupcake things, man. Grab mm-hmm. that shit and go. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. don't it's give me a one because there's no variety. I'm like thinking, that Jesus sucks. Christ, why is it because I don't have like Yeah. I, I mean seriously, that is crazy. Mm-hmm. People are insane. Mm-hmm. And it's little things like that though. I mean you get 20 of those little fucking jabs a day and it's like See, that's of course why. people blow up at the smoothie maker person when they don't put the right smoothie in. it's like because they've just getting battered all day long from everyone else and it's just a, it's a constant flow of fucking hatred dude yeah. it's a circle of hatred and I'm not I don't like it man I don't like it oh and yeah that's why we gotta have the person that we both know that doesn't like to work we gotta have him on one of these because see we just need a hundred reasons why you don't want to fucking go to work right yeah, there I mean for real and they don't have to be weird yeah they don't they <laughs> it's don't. just real shit it just has to be yeah. it's real shit like I don't want to fucking work like uh, old Bobby Lobby when I work there I fucking work 16 hours one day you would go the next day work 14 hours then you get to work 13 hours and they're like they're bitching about people quitting and you're just like and they're treating you like shit yeah. and you're only giving me 30 minute breaks you're just like Jesus Christ, dude! You're watching like you're not even watching your kid grow up. Your kid's growing up. You're like, yeah, she went yeah. from one to six, and you're just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, and I just went from twenty to forty. Like, I understand not wanting to work. There's a billion reasons. That's why I'm trying to get rich. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's exactly that's exactly why I'm trying to do this homestead to where I can make it where I don't need fucking money to Makes live my life. Yeah, and but that's a good point that you point out. Uh, which it just slipped my mind though um well we all hate to fucking work and fuck the man <laughs> yeah don't none of us want to do it no none of us do fuck what was i gonna say about all these nuts no Uh-oh. it was right before that what the fuck i'm hot I was, was a good, you had brought up a good point i was like gonna touch on it i can't remember man i don't know um but i, I something else is like because I, I mean I'll just be honest. I went through 800 jobs. 800. For I just want to say thing that. I probably went through so many more jobs than I am eight years alive. Oh, for real? I've oh, probably been definitely. through more than 30 jobs. Oh, definitely. Like, because I burned through them because none of them fucking... They either want to make me manager too much and I don't yeah. give a fuck. Or... What, do you got it? Yeah, go ahead. Do it, do it. <laughs> okay. Well, basically what I say, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I do remember what I was going to say was... It was you know that it's the biggest game that you know, you're missing out on your kid's life that's what it w- w- reminded me of it was that um like that's the biggest scam like in the united states right now is like that you know you work for 35 years you get to retire between the age of you know at 65 and uh the average lifespan is from 60 to 70 or yeah and i mean usually i think that's the oh the average i can think the average life is like to 70 so like that was the biggest I think is it that video? Yeah, I was about to say I think you saw that because it is, and I was just thinking it because I get nervous about that that I and I'm not in a job that I don't have a four hundred one k or you know I'm not I'm not doing that I I don't plan to I want to work for myself I want to make things I want to build things I want to you know like I said be my own person but it does worry me because I have people in there like well you'll never survive without retirement like you need that retirement you have to be you have to be supportive you have to support yourself you need retirement you need 401ks it's like do i though do i though like i you know i I second guess myself and it's like but i do think that's one of the biggest scams is like dude that's not how is that when did that be okay that that's life that you have to work at a place where more than likely you're miserable at i i know very few people that absolutely love their job and have been there for 35 years and you know and then they get to retire and they're and they Again, the average lifespan is into to seventy, and you get to retire at sixty-five. You technically get the five years after retirement to like. That's if you live to seventy, you know, like, and then you have to budget. You have to budget because what if you live longer? That's one of the things my mom's going through right now. Is she's like she's getting close to retirement, but she, you know, she's been talking to um, her husband about budgeting this and budgeting that because you know what if we live this long? What if we live till we're like my grandma's, uh, I think she's 84 or 85. So what if we live to grandma's age? You know, will we have the money for that? And so it's it's the constant worry and stress of like, can I live my life? What if I can't live my life? Like you haven't started living your life. I mean, I'm sorry to say, but like you haven't done what is best for you 
like probably most of your life like until you were a kid once you got you know between the ages of zero years old to about 10 maybe I think that that's when really you can say that you lived for yourself as a kid but after that then you start becoming you know a teenager and stuff and you start to worry about what others think and what life are they living and how is this normal is that normal and when my one of you know I mean I think that's when all that starts it's just like it sucks I mean it makes me feel bad for people honestly like I was thinking on the ride over here I was legit being like I'm excited for my future I was thinking that because I was like when I get home I'm gonna move this and then we're gonna have a garden here and like I, I got hyped for my own future and I just kept I, and I thought I gotta quit smoking cigarettes, dude. You want, you are actually excited for the years to come and you're slowly killing yourself for no fucking reason with these cigarettes. Like, I'm having this talk on my way here right now. And it's like, you know, but yeah, I don't know. Just being excited for my future and not, because I, it's a, it's a life I want and not a life that is being told that I should have, you know. And again, it just makes me feel bad for people like my mom that's like so stressed about retiring. And then after she retires, it sounds like she's going to be stressed about how long she lives for. How like, she's going to live. Yeah. yeah. And it's it just makes like, me sad. That's what sad. you're stressing right that's, now for. Yeah. Like that's what makes me sad. It's like absolutely miserable at her job. She's like two more years, two more years. You know, she comes home crying. It's like she's been there for 30 to, 33 years. And it's like... You've been miserable for more than half your life. That makes me really sad for you, you know? All because of money. All because this is what... When did that be okay? That's how you live your life, is to work. I mean, what if you don't even live to 65? Then you technically never... I don't know. And you know I never one lived for trillion yourself. percent fuck with that. That's... Man, that is 100%. And when I say, you know, live live, live your life, I mean live for yourself. You know, you can go out on weekends and have a good time and make memories. You know, you can obviously still do all that. And that's a, that's a great, I mean, that's, that's, that's also a great life. But to really, truly live your own life, because, you, you know, it's always corny. But, you know, you have one life to live. And it's just like, why live? That's what I keep telling myself. And why I've been so cool about stuff like at, at home and stuff. It's just so much like, why? I have one life to live. Why stress over this? It's not going to matter in a year from now. You know, just just be positive and focus on bettering yourself. I mean, that's all you can do. And making a life that's sustainable for your kid after you're gone. And I feel like that's what I'm doing. And that's what I want to do. That's good focus. Yeah. I try not to stress over money and stuff because that can like wear you the hell down and it just makes such a terrible home environment when you're always mad and stuff so it's like just be excited that at least you've come this far you work you've worked hard at least you're this far at least you're better off than you were a year ago you're better off than you were two years ago like you're slowly making it so just like chill out and enjoy the ride like you know that's what it's about i think it is about enjoying the journey or trying to learn from the journey at least. I think always, that's a, that's that's it. a real that's thing. That's it right there is always learn from everything. Trying to. Never stop learning. Like, learn, yeah, that's when, yeah, it's, yeah, when people make mistakes and don't learn from them, it's like, what? How you, that's, that's the whole point. I mean, if you make a mistake, that's fine, but you have to learn from it. Like, well, I won't do that again. I won't try to yeah. do that again. It's like, and yeah, in life, it's like you just you keep learning. If everyone wants to stop learning, whether it comes to how you should talk to someone or maybe learn about, you know, to grow your own food or maybe learn about actually looking on the back of your food products and see what's in these fucking processed, you know, learn, just keep learning, whether it's about anything, just just don't stop learning, you know, like it's these it's people that, you know, it's. Like, my uncle, you know, he's, like, very much, like, I've learned all I want to learn. I'm not going to learn anymore. And it's like, well, you're the people that are regressing society, really. I mean, if you just, you think you know everything, you just want to stop learning. I don't know. Well, what is he putting into society, though? Because if he's in his own little bubble, then, he is. yeah, there you go. He could be perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, like well, If he's not going out there to try to, like, put his vote. views <laughs> Well, I mean, he gets that, <laughs> that right. Does matter. You can't take that away. He yeah. does vote. <laughs> that matters. Yeah. That matters a lot. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Who fucking knows? Yeah. That's a conspiracy for another day. Yeah, but anyways, it's just, yeah. I don't know. It just, 
I mean, and I didn't used to think like this, and I'm glad I do. You know, I recognize that I think different, and I, I have to understand that other people don't think like me or aren't in my same. Like you were saying, like I'm on my track. I'm telling you, I'm on my track. This is the track I'm on. You're jumping on, or you're not. But this is the way I'm going. And if you try to make this side detour, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm focused over here. I mean, I'm sorry. That's cool, but I'm, I'm going this way. Like. You can't get mad at that. You can't get mad at me trying to progress my life and me trying to, like, move where I think is forward. Like, I just don't want to stand still, and I definitely don't want to regress. Like, I don't want to go backwards. And, you know, I'm I'm being honest. I'm telling you I'm going this way. This is what I think I, the life I want or whatever. And I've had to, that's exactly what's going on with me and my parents and everything is just me just being like, no, I I am my own person. Like, you're not going to try and make me this person that I don't want to be, you know? Like, it's been really hard the past couple of years of just being like, I guess fine. I guess that's what you call finding yourself is being like, no, this is, this is who I am and this is how I want to be and this is how I want to be talked to and this is how I, you know, and it's okay to stand up for those things. And whether it's your family members or a stranger, like, you have to have boundaries and... You have to know who you are and what you are and what you want and what you stand for. And I mean, I thought all that through and I, of course, I'll change and everybody changes and yeah. I'm, I could be wrong. But right now, this, this is who you are for right how now. I feel. Yeah. And I feel like yeah. it is a good person. And that's what I feel like. That's what matters is that I'm a good person. And to me, and I'm a good person to me and my family. And whether that means, like I said, standing up for myself and, um, you know maybe telling someone something that they don't want to hear but if it has to do with me i have a right you know if you're talking about me to me and i have a problem with it then it's no more just trying to listen to people that like accept you know, yeah oh that try to tell me to live this way like this place and you know just like the safe way because they know, I mean, you know, they, they you know, it's, but what we've been through is, is, you know, it's just, this is the safe way or whatever. It's like, okay, but is my, if I want to take a different way, it should be okay too. Anyways. Go your own way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. I think everyone has to go on their own way. I think even the people that probably had what we now think like the safe way probably had to go their own way. A little bit. That's why they're like, no, stay in the safe way. Going your own way could be sketchy as, f- you know. Mm-hmm. It could be. It could be. Could yeah. be. I don't know. Well, that's the whole point, though, is, like, I realize that I don't want to be comfortable with my surroundings, I guess, or whatever. Like, that was, like, the big debate between me is, like, staying in a house or moving out to the country in an RV where everything is flipped everything is different i mean even to where you keep your spoons and knives and your cups and how you do your dishes everything is going to change when you go from that to that like little things that you would not think about like where to put your clothes where to put your dirty laundry in a 22 foot in a space that's smaller than the room we're currently in and it's like you know it's it's easier for one person not for three yeah that's true that's also another headache but that's the whole point is like i saw i look i literally looked at yeah, my mom was like, she's so comfortable with her life that anything, it bothers me that anything outside of that is a, is a, is a bother to her, if that makes sense. Like, like my cousin, you know, you know, has an engagement party. It's in the city. Oh my God. Like I, it's everything is a big deal. That's not inside of her normal. You know what I mean? Like because you live out in the country, yes, I realize it's a drive or whatever, but it's like everything is a huge fucking deal. Going out to eat at a restaurant after work or something, it's just, it's a process. You have to plan. She makes a big deal out of it. You know, it's stressful. It's everything is, and I don't want to be so comfortable in my life that even little things like that just stress me the hell out. Because that's how I was living in that house. Like, I, that's how I was living. I was like, I thought I was living for me or whatever, but I was literally just sitting in a fucking room you know watching my numbing shit i'd watch youtube and tv for and movies for hours and it's like this house right yeah and okay. i was like i'm doing yeah. nothing with my fucking life and but that's it this is a safe place because i kept getting reminded who else as a 22 23 24 25 year old gets you know a four or three bedroom house you know two baths it's like and there was a pool at one point you know and it's like you have this you need to be thankful for this and you're being ungracious if you're not and you know if you don't stay here because no one else can have this and i 
I appreciated it, but also I realized like I am so miserable here because I'm not living the life I want. I'm living a comfortable life. Because once I got off work, I came in here and dude, I shut off the world. Like people came over here. I didn't go to like people's houses. Like you would come over here and we would paint and shit. Like you fucking paint like on, every, on the fucking floor. And it's like people came here and yeah, I just. I don't know. I don't want to be that. I don't want to be so comfortable that everything is a, bo- uh, is, a is a problem for me. And I wanted to make myself uncomfortable, basically. Which is good. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. And that's what I'm going through currently, I guess. But I think uncomfortable is good. That's how you learn. Yeah. I'm excited. And again, it's like I didn't look forward to my future back then. I didn't look forward to the next day, really. I mean... I was just so complacent and just not even really excited about anything. And it's just like, I'm excited to go home and start working on stuff. I mean, even though it's hot as hell and I'm going to probably burn. And, you know, I mean, I'm exhausted from yesterday of all the fucking shit I did. Jesus Christ. Dude, that was a hard day of work yesterday. And, and the not, heat. Yeah, not much sleep because I got woke up at like 1. I went to sleep at like 5. And it's just, yeah. But all that, considering all that, that's way more shit than I ever did when I was here. I'm still excited to go home and work. Like, but that's the whole point. Is that's how I know I'm on a good track? Is that I'm happier and I look forward to stuff I would have dreaded um, had I been here and comfortable. Sorry, I haven't talked a lot. No, I like it. I like it. That's what uh, I was actually about to throw out an advertisement for 1 800 Joby's Counseling Clinic, uh, $30 (laughs) sessions. Dude, it's like four. I feel like we're like four hours in. No one's going to be listening to this shit. Like, we're how no, far are we? No, listen. In? You just got a whole bunch of doctors that are about to hit you up. <laughs> yeah. How long are we in? Just play? 41 minutes. That's it? Yeah. Oh, I was, okay. And now I'm about to hit you with something to get, put your mind yeah, at let's ease. Yeah, do it, dude. I'm ready. Or put your mind on freeze. Ooh. Yeah. Good boy. All right, all right. These are going to be true or false. Okay. Okay. And the uh, first one already looks hard. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, let me get a little... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I think you're passing that. No, you're bad. fine. I, kept, I keep forgetting to do that. I oh, it's, that's why I put that there, like. so we didn't have to. <laughs> <sighs> All right. The atomic number for lithium... <laughs> oh, my God. ...is 17. Is that true. Tr- true? Okay, let me... I didn't write bring a piece of paper, so I just got to write T and F. Oh, my thing. let me tell you actually, because it's something I found out in school. I am really good at guessing. I'll say that and I'll get everything wrong now, but I'm just saying like say, I've looked into like <laughs> you know when during tests and they give multiple choice answers, dude. I almost always did the A B C D pretty well, yeah, with huh? those because there's a way to do the uh, the process of elimination, and I'm actually pretty dang good at that. Good. I learned it very well, so let's go. We might have to record that one day. <laughs> All right. Loose change. I, I looked into that. Beat stuff. the system. Yeah, I actually looked into it like online of like how to do it and do it well. All right, a cross between a horse Was and a right? zebra is called a hobra. I'll tell you at the end. <laughs> oh, what the fuck. A what? A, a horse and a zebra is called a hobra? That is, no. That's no? false. We'll see. We'll see, Mr. Nay Stevens. <laughs> the black box in a plane is black. Uh, false. I actually know that for facts. Are you? Okay, okay. Because I'm thinking, why else do they call it the black box? It's like ten. We're going to pass this number four, so let me do a skip on now this I'm like, one. Now, now I'm... Sex education star Gillian Anderson was born in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Let's go with that, yeah. True. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm like what Gillian. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Prince Harry is taller than Prince Williams. What? Prince Harry is taller than Prince Williams. Uh, Prince Harry is taller than Prince Williams. Is Williams the older one? That's a good question. Uh, well, okay, uh, Prince Harry is the, the young, handsome one, right? The one that's married to Meghan Markle? Harry, right? Uh, the American Possibly. Lady? Okay. I don't know my English celebrities that much. <laughs> English royalty. They're the ones that, like, they, like completely split away i was from. gonna say somebody i know that they did that yeah i think it's yeah it's, i think it's harry yeah prince edward because i know him from edward right isn't he edward anyways okay 
Oh, no, Edward Norton. No, the the older one is taller. The the king, the prince. So you're saying false. Which, which one is it? You prince think? Harry is taller than Prince. Yeah, false. Well, yeah, false. Okay. I am amazed that you know them because <laughs> I really. I mean, it's probably bad that I don't know them. <laughs> I keep. Uh, I have weird facts in my head. I don't know why. The star sign Aquarius is represented by a tiger. False. False. I would not know that. Meryl Streep has won two Academy Awards. Dude, she's probably won like 15. So false. No, hold on. I don't know. I know she's super popular, but maybe and for the a lot of Academy, hits. maybe she's only a two in there, though. I mean... What's the difference between the Academy Oscars. and Oscars? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. What's the difference? Mm, I don't know, because I don't keep up with that stuff. I'm going to say false, because I think she's won a lot of awards. Right, we'll go with false. I think she's won more than two. Okay, i got to skip another one. I just okay. don't want to butcher these names. Oh, okay. Okay, we're skipping another one. What is it? <laughs> uh, it's the Frozen Girl. Okay, oh, okay no, wait, no. hold on. I'll just say it like that. We'll <laughs> unskip. <laughs> The Frozen Girl sings Let It Go 20 times in Let It Go from Frozen. I believe that, true. I never true. seen it. We're going to call that good. So that's up to 10 right there. Let's check this out real quick. Let's check this out. Number one, you said it was true. What was it? It's false. What was it? Three. Oh, it was the they crazy scientific yeah. one? Okay. All right. Number two, okay, it's false. You're right. What was that? It's a zonkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that didn't sound right. The whore, horzeba, horsebra, horsebra. That's what it should be, horsebra. <laughs> <coughs> Number three, you got right. They're actually orange. I forgot the question. What was it? I don't know. I know the answer is actually orange. Fuck. <laughs> I don't remember the question. I can scroll back up real quick. <laughs> you have to remind me. I don't know what these are. Yeah, sure, I know. You take the one, third one was The orange. black box. Yes. You knew it was orange. Yeah. Yeah, that's, like that's pretty close. Way to go. Okay, I'll just keep I'll going back and forth stuff. then. <laughs> number four. Oh, we skipped. So okay. number five. You said it was true. What's number five? <laughs> number five says, oh, shoot. Wait, hold up. Keep going back down the same thing. I was like, why does it keep saying true? <laughs> <laughs> Sex education star was born oh. in Chicago, Illinois. Cool. So it was, I was right or wrong? Yeah, you were right. Yeah, what do you know? You are a good guesser so far. I You've am. only missed one. Only one, son. Okay, this is your test. Okay. Sorry. And it is love. false. And you said false. Prince Williams is most definitely. This is taller. the picture coming because I am fucking doing my fucking victory dances right now. Uh, number seven, you said true. No, you said false, and it says the answer is true. What is See it? it? The Aquarius is represented oh, by a tiger. Okay. Ah, yeah. I Are, you like that was right. no, Are you a zodiac? Are you a zodiac? Let's no. go. I'm already out of order because. <laughs> <laughs> because. Okay. Let's see. I'll, I'll write it down next time. Or if we do this. But I do want to see. Uh false because she's won three of the yeah i said more too i even yep. got that part right and even asked that question bro. and on number 10 i want to go ahead and check this out on the frozen one you said true yeah. and it's false because she sings it 21 times that's bullshit okay hey. that's fucked hey. up but I it's thought... all right what is that you missed two, two. hey you I'm you a have good a guesser, gift. Dude. You have a gift, dude. I'm telling you, you should. I'm, we should do this. And you should come no, out with stuff. Your ass should go to college and guess. I'm telling you, I'm a good guesser, especially multiple choice. I'm very good at that. And then your retirement things all right there, <laughs> just from guessing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe that's something we can start doing. Is just how you guess shit. Like I'll ask you something, and you just try to guess it, and boom. Like question? Like I don't know mean? anything. Lottery tickets, oh. like. Man. I've never been lucky with that. Oh, Try. well, then never mind. Don't be guessing that shit. <laughs> <Never> <laughs> I thought. I'm good at that. Guessing shit. Guessing that stuff. But Have you yeah. ever won anything from the lottery? Uh, No, I don't think so. Maybe like five or ten bucks. I won like 50 bucks or something like that yeah. for. Yeah, no, no. I won 300 bucks at the casino one time. That's the most I've ever won. Really? Yeah, I know people that have won like multiple thousands. Yeah, I know somebody that's got like tens of thousands in one thing. 
Yeah, that pissed me off. Were you friends with them at the time? Hmm. And they didn't you help you pay that. your car payment? You would think that. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, dude, you have to help me. <laughs> you have to help me, basically. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It's crazy, though. They win so much money. But, you know, people that gamble a lot, they... Win a lot? They win a lot, but they gamble. Yeah, I mean, in the out. aspect of time, they lose more than they win, but... Too bad there's not a thing where you actually have a chance. Like, like it's a sport, like, and you, some way you have to go against the hardest, like, odds, but there's still, like, that puncher's chance that you can win, you know? So you can actually get skillful at it, go there, win some uh, money. I see what you're saying. Well, I know someone that, like, But they, then there'd be, like, yeah, they, they free get those money. free plays, you know, where you, like, go so much and they give you free money on the card to play. It's called free plays. I think or something like that. Yeah. Where you get like a certain amount of spend like on a card or whatever. Anyways, but you have to go every day to keep getting that. I was going to say, that probably means you. You miss a day, then they won't reload that. That like It's like 10 to 25 bucks or something. A free money. Yeah. and yeah, uh, But cool. I know somebody that went and they, I mean, they go, they are dedicated and going to these things. And she went and um, they, they did the free play and I think they won like. 400 off of that one twenty dollars that from the card that they gave them, they got 400 and then they took that and they went to another machine and i think they got either 1200 or 1500 yeah and then she just walked away because that is that's uh, quite literally the only time you're going to yeah, come up come up that's on a, a sign on a casino you know yeah. what i mean like you didn't spend a single penny and you won $1,500 or something like that? Yeah, like, it's a sign to leave. Yeah, no. No, lost it all. Uh, they went all back. I think they went up and down a bit, but they at the end, they walked away with nothing. Man. That, that's it. As they say, that's how you're supposed to play. That's how you do it. You know, you just go for it. Heck no. I would always... Like, except for that time I won the 300 bucks, I still don't think I was in there that long. Mm-hmm. I'm always, like, if I lose, like, I'll get 60 bucks. That's always been my thing. $60, go there. I don't even go there a lot anyways, but I always go there, and I lose my money, and I'm, like, good for fucking a year and a half. Because I'm <laughs> yeah. like, dude, I don't want, I just earned, like, <coughs> I lost 60 so fucking fucked. dollars. I can yeah. never get that shit back out of my life. The yeah. time or now the money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, so it's, it teaches me a little lesson, but then I also get that thing, like, you know, that year and a half, you're like, oh, God, I could get fucking, I need that $2,000 camera. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. God wants me to have it. <laughs> I mean, maybe we don't, maybe we don't have that same rush as other people or, like, maybe go as hard as other people because we haven't had that, like, winning streak. Like, I bet that's an amazing feeling when it does come. Like, you know, you spend, say, you get 60 bucks out, but then you actually, like, you keep hitting and like you keep waiting to always see your numbers rise instead of lower you know and to come out like with you know tens of thousands or or just a thousand or more whatever you know just to like, get escorted out you feel like a fucking boss yeah like to, for that because I mean, that's happened to the people that i know that do it all the time you know they actually have those moments and it's like they want that back but now they're spending all their money and all their time on this one moment that they had you know and but maybe that's why we don't go because I do the same thing. I get like forty to sixty bucks out, and it seems like it's gone within less than an hour. And I'm just like, well, what do I do now? Because everyone's gambling, and I'm like, I have I don't want to. That's as much money as I want to fucking lose. Like, I might as well just pull out forty dollars and just wide up and throw it in the trash. Because like, what? I didn't get anything from it. Like, I don't know. So yeah, maybe I just don't know the machines. Like maybe if I knew the machines better, I don't know. I get it. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see the appeal in just like getting nothing for your money. I'm like, dude, I want food or something. <laughs> I'll drop something 40, bad. I'll drop forty dollars on a meal. I mean, I've done that more than once, but like to forty dollars on nothing. That's what like, I was thinking. I may not have that gambling habit, but I do. Like I have spent that money in weed. I have spent that money exactly in yeah. going out to eat. Like when I was more yeah. older and stuff like that. I just, <laughs> And now it's everything for this podcast. Like, I couldn't wait till my paycheck. I just went ahead and bought the fucking microphone because I just, like... That's so cool. It's anything. It's anything for anything. Mm -hmm. You know, traveling is one thing. I'll save up for that shit. Like, I'll spend it somewhere. Yeah. People spend money on what they... Still got that addiction. Or toys. I had to stop that shit. I was thinking, fuck, dude. Like, I don't even have nowhere to put those wrestlers, so I quit buying them. Like... (laughs) 
that's why it started this other shit. I like the Undertaker. He's cool. Yeah, I got those belts for uh, Christmas. Um. So. Thinking. Um. What did I say? Uh. So. Do your ideas for upcoming podcasts are. Um. The scary stories. Yes. Okay. And the musician. Yes. Okay. And um, and then maybe possibly haven't talked to yet um, is like doing. I mean, once we get our microphones more fixed, fixed, figured out, um, possibly getting like two to three to four or all of the entitled maybe or something like that or yeah. maybe just having the the three or four that we've had on and. I wonder when, if they could pass that thing like a microphone. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be hard. Sad. It'd be hard. Yeah. Oh, and then maybe even have, like I, like I said, maybe the wives on or something. That would be cool. And I think that would be really cool to talk to them, especially, or even just one. I mean, if we can't do the whole thing, but just one that really wants to talk about it because I think that'd be interesting for the people that are dating the wrestlers because, I mean, I've noticed quite a few of them do have significant others and it's like it'd be interesting for the for the wrestling fan that's the girl that's actually like interested in a wrestler or is currently dating a wrestler like how that works what's the dynamic huh. there you know what I mean like it's just a it's for wrestling people really but also um for a certain type of wrestling people you know it's different than the normal people that we would it's from a different aspect so I think that would be cool um doing that and then I talked to um, uh, Derek about possibly getting him and Bob I was going to say his name but I just realized his name Bob um, he's the hater of the wrestling and Todd uh, yeah his best friend on just to chit chat just to like shoot shit we can ask him questions about whatever but i'd also like to ask bob about why he hates wrestling because i feel like that'd be interesting <laughs> especially since we do have a wrestling a little bit of a you know following of wrestlers and i think they would be interested to hear what that is that you could make that its own segment because i just feel like that would be super interesting for especially for the the wrestlers that do listen to the podcast of like to just to hear straight up from a hater like that just or I don't even know if he's a true hater. Like like I said, I just, just something that they said in passing. So I don't know if he's just joking or if he just thinks it's fake and work. Or have, have him no explain idea. the statement. Exactly. Yeah. I like and that. have him go into it and yeah and why and you know if he thinks it's fake and whack, like you know that's what about the blood or you know well, you, you better you'd be better to come up with stuff like that. But like just like kind of dig into why he doesn't like it. I guess. But again, he's a super. Telling you, when you mean he's super eccentric, dude. So you'll you'll understand maybe why he. He has these weird you know, things about him. So. You know what I want to do? What? I want. Some wrestling place. To put me and you like if we were having somebody on this podcast, and then all of a sudden somebody jumps in. And like it's part of like their angle, but like they'd have to film with a whole different one, so I could get it on mine. We could put it as our little <coughs> te- like teaser video. That could be the teaser videos, like this whole ambush come in, and you know it can also be a part of their whole thing at the same time. You know what I mean? Like that's gonna be on their whatever. Oh, yeah. So saying it's like an angle. So I love coming- that. That's such yeah. a good idea. Yeah. What the fuck? Dude? I know, dude. Did you tell? Have you told anyone? I mean, uh, I mean, I messaged. Mitchell yeah, I messaged man? someone about it, uh, but not anybody that. Oh man, that's a really do, good one. Just make that yeah, happen. Especially like in just this, like a uh, maybe. Yeah, I'd probably have to be. Yeah, if we just did a, like the VFW or something, something with a little taller roof. But yeah, if we're just like sitting here filming and just talking, and we have the lights all set up and like and even imagine, after that wrestling show, you could be yeah. have, making it look like that, and all of a sudden like ah, oh, boom, boom, they're, boom. while they're still bloody, uncut up, and all yeah. like sweaty, and then they just come in. We're talking. They just come in. They just perfect like, way to end the them. interview too. Yeah, and then that yeah, and then we could oh yeah, that would be really cool, and that could be like our intro to all of our podcasts that would be cool too dude that'd be way fucking cool yeah. and just like look at the camera and like what the <laughs> yeah well we'd have to like set up some type of like maybe 
fake mic or some type of different mic situation because I just wouldn't want to risk fucking up any of this stuff because I would want him to actually slam down like like these lights would be off you know so where they could slam in between and not mess up light but I want them to actually like hit the table that we're talking on you know like or maybe we could just go like and like grab grab the mic and like grab we everything. won't have this on the table we'll just both just grab our mics and go like that or something or because i'd like it for it to be on the table we're actually using well i, I have two of those ones so. so oh there you go yeah there's that one yeah and then i was gonna say as long as we just grab this one that one and that one <laughs> i don't care about these lights and they can just get, like, the definitely computer. grab the computer <laughs> <laughs> definitely grab the computer yeah that's but my that baby would be sick dude i think that would be sick as fuck yeah Let's make it happen. Okay. All right. Make it happen, Captain. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Press and stop.